welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my process of weekly routine manicures and how I am growing my own long natural nails out. So if you follow any of my social media or you watch my YouTube videos on a regular basis, you will know that I am allergic to acrylic and gel, hard gel, soft gel, all of that. So yes, I do work on clients, so I have to be extremely careful while working on them by wearing gloves, long sleeves, making sure that none of the product touches my skin or else I'll have a very severe allergic contact dermatitis uh, reaction. And some of you guys will know what I'm talking about. It's very painful. You have to be on steroids and it takes a long time to get rid of. So I did start off by looking up some videos on YouTube of how to grow your own long natural nails super fast but in all honestly in all honesty there is no secret to it it's just a long drawn out process you need to invest in good polishes you need to do weekly routine manicures and nourish your cuticles on a regular basis and I mean oil 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 as many times as you can during the day so, to start off, I am just removing all of my old polish and then I'm going in with my crystal nail file and shaping all of my nails. And as you can see, I am going in a seesaw motion and um, in, all honestly, in all honesty, I think that this is okay. It's not bothering my nails any. I'm not seeing them tear uh, just because this nail file is so, so fine and soft it's not doing the damage to my nail now if you were to take like a 180 grit or higher nail file then yes it would rip your nails apart but so i'm going to go ahead and finish filing all of my nails into shape and then i will show you the next step okay so here i'm taking my cuticle remover and i'm just going to put a small drop on all of my nails now i am doing my other hand off camera just because it's much easier so i'm just going to be showing you one hand at a time and i believe this cuticle remover is called blue cross i really do enjoy it i like it a lot and i just put it in that dropper bottle so it's easier for me to disperse on all the nails so i'm taking my favorite cuticle pusher that is rounded on one edge and has a scraper on the other and I'm just going to push, push, push. I have a lot of buildup right now. I actually skipped last week's manicure, so my nails are in really bad shape right now. So as you can see, it works really well. It pulls off a lot of dead skin. It's pretty gross. So I'm taking that scraper side and I'm just going to scrape away the side walls and around the cuticle again. Um, I do get a lot of buildup around my sidewalls, so I do focus a lot on my sidewalls. Okay, so you can see here all of the dead skin that that product has helped lift off of my nail plates. It's pretty gross. So after I've done pushing my cuticles back, I am going to take a nail wipe and just wipe all of the excess skin off. And then I'm gonna take my favorite drill bit. And this is just a extremely fine cone bit. As you can see, I'm putting it on my skin. It does not hurt whatsoever, so I find that this works really well to get into my sidewalls because once again, like I said, I have a lot of buildup around my sidewalls. I don't know why, but I get dead skin really bad right there. And that's where I get a lot of calluses built up. So I'm gonna take this e-file bit and I'm just gonna go very carefully around the sidewalls and my cuticle. And this is a step that you can skip uh, because I do nails Professionally, I do have this equipment already, and it's a step that I like to take. Uh, if this is something that you're interested in getting, 
I have a link down below in the description bar of a e-file that is perfect for professionals and beginners from Melody Susie and this particular bit will actually be in a small kit that you receive whenever you order a new e-file. So this is not something that you're going to have to hunt down. It will be in the box. So then I'm just going to uh, dust away all of the dead skin that my e-file removed. And then I'm just going to start taking my nippers and clipping away at all of the dead skin that is uh, like stuck up on the nail plate. I'm not going to cut anything live, so if you are not experienced with nippers, definitely recommend that you just skip this step and uh, go straight to the sink and gently exfoliate your cuticles to remove some of that dead skin. But like I said before, mine are really tough. I get a lot of buildup, so I do need to take this step. Um, so once again, definitely do not trim anything that is live only what is sticking up so you will see here in this video as I zoom in I'll show you a few pieces of dead skin that are sticking up so that you'll know exactly what you need to trim So from here, I'm just going to take this fine grit buffing block and just smooth out any imperfections on my nail plate so that my polish goes on very clean looking. And um, while I'm thinking about it, I actually want to do a giveaway here soon. I just realized that I have reached a little over a thousand subscribers and I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing, for liking my videos, for commenting, and just interacting with me. Um, I don't think I've taken the time to thank you guys enough. It helps my channel out a lot when you guys are commenting and liking my videos, sharing them. So um, I'm going to set a goal of 1,200 subscribers. So once I reach 1,200 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Um, I'm really excited about it. So you guys have got to help me reach that goal. Okay, so as you can see, I have been cleaning out from underneath my nails. That is another important step that you shouldn't skip. We get a lot of really nasty gunk built up underneath our nails. It's pretty gross. So hey, fun fact, did you know that there are actually poop particles underneath your fingernails? Yeah, that's pretty gross. So um, anytime I have a client sit in my chair that's a nail biter and complains about biting their nails and they're really trying to grow their nails out, I will run that fun fact by them and let them know that there are poop particles found underneath their nails and when they're chewing on them, they're actually chewing on poop sickles. So run that by your client and see what they think. It'll give them a good laugh. Okay, so this is what my nails look like after I have finished cleaning them and washed them. So this Nail Tech Extra Nail Strengthening Polish is what I bought when I was first starting this 21 days ago. And I used this um, morning and night. Sometimes I would do it three times a day. Uh, and it, it really, it worked. This is like the first nail strengthener I've used ever that actually showed results so i would recommend this i picked this up at drag emporium but your local sally's will have it um, and that polish does say that you should put it on um, once a day and then uh, once they got it got some length to them i decided that i needed to go with a nail hardener so i picked this one up from sally's i'm sure you can find this one anywhere this one's been around for a really long time i think my grandmother used to use this so uh, this one says I believe that you need to apply it only once a week, but once again, I'm going to be using this daily, if not twice a day, just because I am really on a mission to grow my nails out um, and, and strong because my nails are so flimsy. I don't know why they're so flimsy. Whenever I do grow them, they just bend and it's, it, it's painful. 
and it's heartbreaking. Nobody ever likes to break a nail. So I'm going to apply this to all 10 of my nails and let this completely dry before I do a second coat. And uh, as I was polishing, this polish has a really funky smell. Like that Nail Tech one just smelled like regular nail polish. Um, maybe a little bit stronger, but this one smells like the aftermath of walking into a new building that just had a fresh coat of paint. It, it's it's weird, but it dissipates and it, it doesn't last very long. But um, took me by surprise that it smelled like like paint or paint thinner. Okay, so I've got my second coat of Nail Magic on, and this is what they look like. They're doing so good. I'm so proud of myself. I really can't remember what my nails look like. I've worn extensions for so long. So I also picked this up at Sally's. It's a rebuild and renew your nails in 30 days. Um, it's like a super duper nail cuticle oil, I suppose. I'm not quite sure. Um, it just looked intriguing so I picked it up and I figured I would incorporate this into my nail routine so this is something new that I have not done before the bottle is fairly small as you can see I think I paid like 640 something maybe seven dollars with tax so um, and it, it doesn't really have a strong smell to it so I'm just going to take this um, like the bottle says or the instructions say to apply it once a day or twice a day once it, again I like to do everything just twice a day so I'm going to put this around my cuticles and then brush it on top of my nail and I'm going to do this to all 10 nails and then once I have applied this then I'm going to go in with my cuticle oil pen and this cuticle oil pen is from model ones that they had sent me a while back I did a review on their gel polish kit um, but any cuticle oil will work. I really like these pins though. Um, you can stick them in your purse, in your pocket. They're real small and thin like a pin. So um, it's handy and you can also refill these. Okay, so you guys have made it just about towards the end of my video. So pretty much our next to last step, we're going to dip our hands. Well, I say we. I dip my hands into my paraffin machine and get them thickly coated. This is just going to open up my pores and soak all that nutrients and oils and goodness down into my skin to help nourish my cuticles and my nails. Um, and if you guys don't have one of these, it's definitely not a step that you have to do. Uh, like I said before, I'm trying to grow my nails as fast as I can. Um, so once this hardens, I'm just gonna peel it off and um, you guys can find this at your local beauty store or even a Walmart. I'm sure somebody carries it, but it is definitely not a step that is necessary. It's just something that I like to do. And um, it is also very good for anybody who has arthritis. So the next step after this is just going to be uh, putting cream or hand lotion on. And then that's it. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I know it was a long one. If you made it to the end, definitely show me some love and stop by, say hi, leave a comment. Um, don't forget to like this video. If um, you would like to see the progress of my nail growth, just comment down below, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next one.